I finally got this um, this new setup for pressurized water with my Jeep. So just wanted to show you kind of how that all comes together because a lot of videos online don't really show you how it all kind of works underneath. So let me just show you how it all works. So I have the filler cap right here and it has a key lock. So you can put the key in, unlocks it, takes it out. I can fill the bumper up in there seven gallons goes right back in so nobody can nobody can you know mess with it put it whatever they want in it pee in it or whatever and then down here I have a quick disconnect um, for a regular garden hose um, and the water will come out there um, so if I turn on the pump so I'm gonna turn on the pump kicks on just trying to pressurize right now it's kind of acting up but you can see that do it all the way it starts pumping all that water out of that so if I have a garden hose attached onto there so now I got the garden hose attached to that so I just kind of will probably just keep this in my Jeep it's like 15 feet Do it like full, I like the shower mode. Pretty decent pressure. So if we go underneath the Jeep, which is where I'm particularly always curious about how they hook it up, you can see that I drilled a hole in the bumper on the passenger side. It's like a feed, feeds up. Kind of behind the muffler. Feeds all the way over. Oops. Feeds all the way over to the pump, which is mounted underneath. And I ended up drilling four bolts through the body. So I basically went down from above and matched up where I wanted to put that and so you have four bolts on two bolts on each side um, and then you have the outlet which goes out over there just the same piping and so basically it comes out from this side and kind of syncs up with the other hose but this time it goes over the heat shield of the muffler just trying to get it away from the muffler and then out to here and then this is just an on and off valve um, converts to a garden hose and then I have a garden hose quick disconnect adapter here and then uh, it all just comes together a bunch of these um, just like you know holding the hose to each connector basically um, super important just to have them tight because the pressure needs to occur otherwise the pump doesn't really doesn't really work um, and there you have it. So I'm hoping to just show you how, um, how it all worked, how it all comes together. And uh, I'll try to put the parts in the description. Um, because I noticed a lot of people don't really have uh, a lot of pictures of how they did it. There's one video online that shows how you go through the whole process, but doesn't really list a lot of the parts you used. So I'll try and put a parts list together because uh, it was quite some time trying to put this together. As far as New England goes, in the winter, don't know how that's gonna go, but I'll probably just uh, probably just take the pump out, or I'll just take the lines out and try and just blow air through the pump. Um, I don't really know, but probably have to take it off. Anyway, thanks for watching.